Dear Marvel, this is what happens when you pander to the SJWs. They will never, ever, 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 ever be happy with what you give them in the films when it comes to the identity politics. And I know that you are really trying to pander to these people. You are continuing to put more and more identity politics in the movies. You're... Your cast uh, cast members are continuing to talk more and more about identity politics. And now you have your directors talking about identity politics. That's right. They have the Rousseau brothers talking about identity politics along with everyone else that is now involved in Marvel Studios. We know that Kevin Feige has gone off the deep end on all the political agendas that they are working on as well. But it's never enough. It is never enough for these people. Despite your promises that we are going to be getting like our first uh, gay league character in the Eternals, that is not good enough. What they what these people wanted was more of that in Avengers Endgame. That's right. Even though Avengers Endgame introduced the first LGBTQ character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that was not good enough for these people. They want more and more, and you can never satisfy these people. I think that is one of the biggest problems with the SJW types of people is that they aren't content people. They are never content. They are never content with anything. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at this article. Here's why many fans aren't happy with Avengers Endgame's LGBTQ representation. So, one moment in the film is causing some debate among LGBTQ fans. LGBTQ fans. Okay. Marvel boosts, boasts that this film has the first openly gay character in the MCU. And while that's sort of true, it definitely leaves something to be desired. Oh. Um, in the film, uh, yep. So basically, if you saw the film, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so, um, however, the fact that he plays an unnamed character with a few lines almost feels like a slap in the face to the people waiting 22 movies. To see themselves represented represented on screen. A slap in the face. <laughs> they make this sound overly dramatic. Come on. A slap in the face. Really? Come on. Sure, we're glad to have confirmation that gay people exist in this universe. Who who said who ever said that these that gay people didn't exist in the universe? No one ever said that. In any of these movies, no one has ever said that gay people didn't exist in this universe. But it feels too little, too late. See what I mean? These people will never be happy about anything that you give them when it comes to your pandering with identity politics. Um, it's worth mentioning that Joe and Anthony Rousseau aren't fully to blame for this misstep. Well, I mean, why are they? Why would they be to blame? For the fact that they actually put a gay character in the movie. Which is what you guys wanted. You guys wanted gay representation. They put it in here just for you guys. Just to make you guys happy. And they actually did it in a way that actually worked with the story. Which I was fine with. But it wasn't good enough for you people. You guys don't want it to work in the story. You guys don't want your identity politics to actually work for the story. You want it to just be there. You just want them to just force it in. Put it out there in the open. Be like, hey, I'm gay. I'm a gay character. And then yeah, and then you'll be maybe a little bit happy. You'd be way happier with that than what they did in this movie. Because apparently having a gay character in the movie. And actually talk about himself being gay. And still somehow being able to work it into the story in a seamless way. Which the Rousseau brothers did perfectly. Wasn't good enough for you. Wasn't good enough for you at all. There are much better ways that this could have gone. First of all, a gay character with a name would have been pretty cool. A gay character with a name who also happens to be an Avenger or a person close to the Avengers would have been much better. This is about the freaking... Oh my gosh, this movie is about the original Avengers. This is not about new Avengers. This movie, even though they kind of had Captain Marvel have a pretty big part in the movie. I mean, she had like 15 minutes of screen time and it was kind of an introduction for her and like passing of the torch to her in a way. But this movie was about the original Avengers. It wasn't about new Avengers. So why, why are you complaining about this? If you were actually a fan of this movie, then you would know that this was for the OG Avengers. This movie was dedicated to them. This was their story. This wasn't a story for new characters. This wasn't a story for introducing gay characters, which is exactly what you wanted. You wanted them to basically introduce gay characters, apparently, in this movie, and gay Avengers. They didn't introduce any new Avenger besides Captain Marvel. 
and you know she might be gay so there you go <laughs> in addition to what some people are calling tone deaf many fans of the marvel television shows so basically talking about how a lot of the tv shows have been uh putting a lot of lgbtq characters in them and stuff um Anyway, so, you know, these people just continue to com complain about the identity politics of the movie. It is never good enough for these people. That's what happens when you pander to these people. So, you know, like I said in my other video, good luck, Marvel. Have fun with your new characters who aren't going to care about your characters or your story. They're only going to care about what kind of checkboxes you checked off with identity politics. All they care about is the color of character's skin, what's between their legs, and who they sleep with. They don't care about their journey. They don't care about their developments. They don't care about their struggles. They don't care about their relationships with with the other characters. All they care about is the identity politics. And, you know, that just continues to show more and more. It's everywhere. These people are complaining about this type of crap everywhere. Despite the fact that Marvel has promised that they are going to be introducing some gay characters very soon. And despite the fact that Brie Larson is saying that they're going to be moving a lot faster when it comes to the identity politics to representation. Representation is their word for identity politics, by the way. Um, so, yeah. And no, like I said... I'm fine with it. I'm fine with them introducing a gay character into the movie. But don't make a big deal out of it. Don't... You know, the, the the problem is is that they are like, okay, we're going to put a gay character in the movie. They're gonna, it's going to work seamlessly with the story, and it did. The Rousseau brothers did a great job with that, with, you know, him basically saying that he was gay, but still having it work in the story, even though that wasn't good enough for the SJWs. But then, like, after the film came out, they're all like, look at us. We put a gay character in our movie. Hurrah. Hurrah. We did it. Ha ha. And it's like, well, then you just you just completely, even though you complain about or, and talk about how you want to normalize these types of things in your movies, the fact that right after the movie comes out, you talk about how you did that just shows that you aren't really trying to normalize this type of stuff. All you care about are just checking the woke boxes. So have fun checking those woke boxes, Marvel. And, uh, you know, the rest of us, the actual fans of the movies that you've been giving us for 11 years... We're here. We we want actual good movies. We want actual good characters. We don't want your identity politics. We'll we'll be here when you want us back. So whenever you decide that you want to be done pandering to these type of people, we'll be here. I will be here at least. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.